My favorite memory is being a Torero. Definitely goes back to junior year when we were able to beat Gonzaga at home. They were ranked in the top 25, and um, they came in. They were, had a really good team that year, and we had a good feeling we could beat them. And you know, we played a really good team game that day, and a lot of guys contributed and played well. And then beating them and having the students rush the floor and just getting to experience that with the student body, and you know, we just felt this pride of being a USD Torero, and um, it's something I'll definitely remember. One of my favorite sports memories forever. You know, I think what inspires me is just the fact that being able to play sports is such a gift. I know a lot of kids that don't have the gift that we do as athletes. Um, you know, we were born with different passions and different abilities, and I feel like the ability to play basketball is something I don't want to take for granted. So every time I step on the floor, I want to play the best I can and glorify and honor God and, and be someone that stands true and, um, you know, resembles a Torero and, and plays hard and competes and, and does things the right way. My advice to all those coming back to USD next year is really just to enjoy the moment. Um, it goes by so fast. I feel like yesterday I was coming on campus as a freshman and four years later it's been an incredible journey. Um, so I know it's hard with practice grinding every day, but just enjoy it. Um, you only go through this time once in your life, so um, you're blessed and, and keep, keep enjoying it and keep having fun. Yeah, NC2As was like our dream and our focus all year last year on the team and like everyone was so invested in it. And to see that dream and our team goal be achieved was unbelievable and it's a lot of other teams easily make it to NCAAs but for rowing it's something that you have to work really really hard and for us never being ranked before last year having that NCAA automatic qualifier from winning conference meant everything to us so we could go show the whole country that USD rowing is fast and that our program is here and we're coming in strong and we're not ever going to back down. With that finishing 15th I think really made that statement true that we're not a slow school that people think we used to be. We definitely have moved up through the last four years since I've been a Torero and we've really taken charge to get up there and show ourselves in the national rankings. Yeah, as a role as a coxswain, I really have to find a way to push them and inspire them throughout practice and during races. And that definitely comes from my own inspiration. I think part of that is definitely from the coaching staff, seeing the amount of hours that Kim and Lindsay and G and like previous coaches that we've had put into the team makes me want to be inspired to make our team fast because they put so much into it and I want to get them to see the result of their hard work. And also past, um, past leaders and coxswains that we've had on the team have showed me the way and I really want to like keep that tradition alive so I try to live and breathe that every day and keep the history and hopefully the younger people learn from me in that way and can have that when they grow up to be seniors. The advice I'd give to the upcoming juniors and seniors and also incoming Toreros is just be involved in as many different things that you can. I know it seems like a lot doing your sport and school, but if you can reach out and join clubs and groups academically and athletically, I think that really makes your experience at USD 100 times better and you meet awesome people doing that, so it's definitely worth it.